Richard Wells, thanks very much indeed for that. Now, the increasing popularity of action heroines in what Hollywood calls chick flicks has shown up a gap in the job market for stunt women. A new school in Arizona has now started up to teach the physical skills needed to qualify as doubles for the stars. As Kim Barnes now reports. Three, two, one, action. What does a girl have to do to get a break in Hollywood? Stunt work can be a highly paid, glamorous profession, but it's hard to break into. I started working in it two years ago, and before that I was interested in it for about a year before I found a way in, because it's a very closed shop. A lot of it is who you know. It's not about what you can do or what role you want. It's all about who you know. And I want you to land on your stomach, but brace yourself. This two-day stunt clinic provides lessons with the experts. Three, two, one. And the opportunity to pick up the secrets they normally keep to themselves. It might be 25% talent. 75% politics and uh, that sort of thing. And there's still some nepotism going on, not as much as it used to be. Yeah, but the stunt community is pretty tight and uh, basically a pretty conservative lot. What do I do with my neck? The ratchet is one of the key stunts these women will need to master and one of the most dangerous. The effect as if you've been shot or blown up. I'm very excited just to have the opportunity to learn from the best in the business. It's the top 10 stunt coordinators in the United States are here today, so uh, um, I'm getting the best instruction. And that helps mentally when you know that you're getting, you know, the best. The increasing popularity in cinemas of action chick flicks with tough heroines like Lara Croft has meant more opportunities for stunt women. In the past, men used to double for actresses, but now directors and audiences are demanding greater realism. You go first. No, you go first. And that means greater challenges for women, but greater rewards too. I think the future really holds a lot for the women, uh, uh, actors and stunt people, to, to really shine and, and show what they can do. It's not all high-tech. They still need to crack the art of falling off a horse. Despite their bruises, these women say it's money well spent. Gives you a great basis and makes sure that you know what you're doing so that you don't get hurt. It's your job. My ambitions are to be a stunt woman and make a living out of it. If your heart's into it, they can tell right away. So I don't think it matters if you're a guy or girl. One, two, three. Now they're hoping their new skills will help them kick down the doors of Hollywood. Kim Barnes, BBC News. Time for a weather forecast. Here's Penny Tranter.